welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my subscribers and welcome to the newcomers. I hope you enjoy what you see and if you do, please do subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified of every upload that I do. Share my product, my patterns, tag me along if you're creating. Don't forget to give it those thumbs up. It helps to circulate the video. And I want to thank every single one of you for being here with me and all your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your advices, and your questions. And of course, I'm here to answer them and help you with the patterns. Um, if I don't answer you right away, it's because of different time uh, zone of countries. But I do get back to you as soon as I can. So we're going to create the pineapple table runner. I had posted up... Uh, a picture on the groups that I'm involved in and I was overwhelmed I still am with the correspondence of every single one on those groups almost every single one with a very high demand of the tutorial of that uh, table runner I don't have the table runner in front of me I did that table runner a few years back it is not my creation nor was it my design. It was a picture sent to me quite a few years ago from a friend that wanted me to create that for her, which I didn't. Of course, at the time, I didn't even have the channel. It has not been um, a year yet that I have the channel up. So um, I did the table runner for her and, of course, took pictures because I usually take pictures of all my patterns. Um, so I don't know who the creator is. It's been, like I said, quite a few years back, but, um, hands up to the creator because it is a beautiful table runner. And if I do come across somehow who the creator is, of course, I will mention and be grateful for the beautiful art that the person has designed and created. So we're going to recreate that today. And, um, it's it's an easy pattern, but it's very detailed, so you have to pay attention because um, even I, I have to look at the picture again and recreate because I've done so many patterns I can't remember off by heart. But uh, we're going to use a four-ply 100% cotton. I'm going to be using some cream, some yellow and dark yellows for the pineapples and obviously probably some green at the end to close it up. Um, so I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial and thank you so much for all your, your support. Um, I'm really grateful and humbled by it. Thank you. And we're going to get started. So the first thing you want to do is make that magic circle. Now, for some of you that still have a hard time with a magic circle, you can do your six chain, uh, chain stitch inside of the circle we're gonna go up chain three one more for separation so chain four inside of the circle we're going to do 12 double crochet one chain separation get you a little bit closer now I might have to go to two or three videos on this, especially with this app. It takes too much of my memory. It doesn't really let me take too much time on recording, so I always have to keep the videos shorter. That's the sad part about it. The good part is that it's full view, so I guess we're going to have to compromise on that. So uh, do your 12 double crochet, and we'll close it up on the third space here at the end. So now once you've done your 12 double crochet, one chain separation, we're going inside of the space here and we're going to go chain three. So a single, two more uh, chain. Back inside, we're going to do two double crochet inside of each space, one chain separation. Next space, two double crochet together. And of course, my needle is going to slip quite a few times because I have the, the cell phone in front of me, in front of my face, so I can have this recording properly for you guys. So it's a little bit difficult for me, but we try to manage. 
So two double crochet per space. You're going to come to the end. You're going to close it up on third space here. So now we've closed in our third space and the third loop. So now we're going to chain three again. This will equal a double crochet. We're going to come inside of the center here. We're going to do another double crochet. And on top of the double crochet with another double crochet. Now I believe I mentioned this is 100% um, cotton and we're using needle number three now if you really want to make a big one uh, medium to big you can use aunt lydia cotton thread um, number three if you want to make a small to medium then aunt lydia number 10 cotton thread okay so two chain separation the next double crochet we're gonna go and do a double crochet in the center here I'm gonna do another double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row we're gonna do another double crochet so now you're gonna have three two chain separation and again double crochet in the center here between both double crochets double crochet and on the third one here, well, the third, the second one here, a double crochet. And then we're going to close it up on third space when we get there. Okay, so now we're going to go up chain three again, which is equal a double crochet. In the middle one here, we're going to start adding, uh, increasing the double crochet. So we're going to put two together. Next space, so now we're going to have... We started with one, two, three, now we're gonna have four. Again, one, two, into the first one, double crochet. The second one, we're gonna do two together, double crochet. And on the third one, one double crochet. And we're gonna do this all the way around, two chain. If, you're ch if your stitch is too tight, then do three chain okay so second one two double crochet and the third one one double crochet so now we're gonna have four we're gonna do that all the way around and we're gonna close it up on the third space okay so we're on to one two three four on the fifth row one, two, three, four, five row, chain three, double crochet on your dub on your second double crochet. On the third one, we're gonna add two together. So now we're gonna have a total of five double crochets. Three chain, two, three. Next loop again. Double crochet, next space, double crochet. On your third one, we're going to put two double crochet together. And we're going to do that all the way around. And we're going to close it here on the third space. Okay, so we've closed in the third space. We're going to walk, I call it the walk, to the third double crochet. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, three for double crochet, two for separation. We're going to come back in the same space and do a double crochet. So we're going to create in the middle of these little V's. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five chain. If yours is too tight, do six. So we're going to skip one, two on the third space again. 
We're going to do a double crochet, two chain separation, and create our V again. So I believe I'm going to do six chain, just to make sure that it's not going to crumple up. So, because I usually have a very tight stitch to begin with. So we want to make sure that. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip one, two on the third space. We're going to create our double crochet. Two chain separation in the same space. The double crochet again. And we're going to proceed this way all the way around. We're going to close it up on the third space on our V here. I'm just going to tuck in my magic circle string so it does not bother me, it gets in my way. So I would come in the back and get it through these um, loops back here with a smaller needle so we don't poke big holes on them. should be good. And you got your perfect also you want to make sure that you do have 12 of these motives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or you're in trouble. Okay, so we're going to go inside of the V, single, two chain. Another double crochet in the middle, two chain. And two more double crochet on the same space. So we're going to have a total of four double crochet on the V. Okay, we need to pay attention on here. So we're going to do six chain, three, four, five, and six. Now this one here, on this V here, we're going to do only one double crochet, two chain, separation, and one double crochet. So we're always going to have one like this with two, and one like this with one. Six chain again. Three, four, five, six. Now this one's going to be two double crochet. And two chain separation. And two more double crochet. So you're going to have one with two. Next one, one. Two next one one six chain three four five six and one double crochet two chain and one more double crochet now remember don't forget you're going to have one with two one two double crochet one two double crochet one and we're going to proceed that way all the way around. We're going to close it on the third space. Okay, so now we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth row. So I've closed in. As you can see, we have two a double, one double, one. So we're going to go in the center of this V. So we're going to walk with slip stitch. I call it the walk. Do a single here. Chain two. This will be equal. Double crochet. Inside where we have the two double crochets, we're going to extend 
to three two chain separation and three more six chain one two three four five six where we have the V we're going to continue to do the V and this row and two chain separation this row will be repeatedly the same way six chain three four five six and three double crochet with two chain separation and three more double crochet six chain and where we have the V we proceed with the V oops two chain and we continue on I'll meet you at the end okay we're gonna start row nine and I've changed it to green because I want to start my first group of pineapples in green. So I'm going to go exactly where I finished it off. And I'm going, I hope I don't knock my camera down. I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to try to hide my thread, go up to chain. And inside of this group here, it's going to stay the same. Three double crochet. Two chain. And three more double crochet in the same space. Six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if yours is too tight, you can do seven. Inside of the space here of the V, we're going to do eight double crochet. No separation. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Six chain, one, two, three four, five, six. We're going to create the same groups of three double crochet. So it's going to be repeatedly the same way all the way around. Two chain. And three more double crochet. Six chain one, two, three, four, five, and six. Try not to tighten it too much so you can have enough loosage. The next V eight double crochet. So this is how it's gonna be all the way around, and then you close it up on third space at the end. Three four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to close it up on third space. So I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, so we've reached the end. We've locked in. We're going to walk to the middle. With slip stitch. And we're going to do a single here and chain two. That equals a double crochet. We're going to proceed the same way. Three double crochets and two chain separation. It's the same thing. Now we're going to do four chain one, two, three, and four. We're going to come on our first one here and do a double crochet. One chain separation, next space, one double crochet. So we're going to do double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous row with one chain separation between them. And this row is going to be repeatedly the same way. So you're supposed to have eight double crochets with one chain separation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four chain into the center and create our three groups. It stays the same. Now, reminder, where the three little dots up top are, you can click there and slow down the video to the speed you would like. One, two, three, four. Chain, come into the first one. Double crochet, one chain separation. And we proceed the same way all the way around, and we close in the third space at the end. Okay, so we've reached the end. We're going to walk to the middle again. And this is going to stay the same. So we're going to get here to a single. Chain two with the single becomes three. Double crochet. So we're going to do the two double crochet in here. Equals three. Two chain separation and three more. So this stays the same again. And this is row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, row 11, 1, 2, 3, 4 chain. Coming into the center of the space here, we're going to create three double crochet, and we're doing three double crochet per space. No separation. Next space, three double crochet. Next space, three double crochet. Next space, three double crochet. And this row will be repeatedly the same way all the way around. Next space, double crochet. Next space, three double crochet. And, uh, and next space, last space, three double crochet. Four chain into the center of our group and create your three double crochet with two chain separation and three more double crochet. Row 11. I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, so I'm changing my thread again and I'm going into the straight yellow. That means one color only of yellow. I'm not using the multicolored yet. So I'm going inside of the space. Single. And two chain. Try to hide my thread. And this will be the same. So we're going to do three double crochet. Two chain separation and three double crochet. Oops, trying to hide my thread here. Four chain one, two, three, four, and don't tighten it too much. We're going to the first one and we're going to do an incomplete double crochet. Next space, an incomplete double crochet. Next space, we're going to take it out all together. So you have four on the needle, two chain separation. Next space, incomplete double crochet. Next space, incomplete double crochet. Next space, incomplete double crochet. And we're going to take it out all together. Two chain separation. Next space, one. Two and complete, and the third one we take it all out. Two chain separation, next space, one, two, and three, and take it all out together. Two chain separation, one double crochet and complete. Two double crochet and complete, and the third one we're going to take it all together. Two chain, next space, one, two, three, two chain separation and we're doing the last one one two and three four chain one two three and four we're going to do our groups of double crochet and two chain separation that stays the same So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of three. And we're going to repeat the process. Four chain into the next space. Double crochet incomplete. Second double crochet incomplete. And the third one, we take it all together. Two chain separation. Next space. So it's going to be repeatedly like this all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. We're going to close it up on third space. Okay, so we're going to row 13 and now I'm doing the multicolored yellow. 
always uh, four ply 100% cotton. I only work with cotton thread. For some of you that ask me what type of yarn, it's not yarn, it's thread. So inside of the group, we're going to continue to create the group of three. Two chain, uh, sorry, three chain. This time it's three chain, not two. And three double crochets. Four chain, one, two, three, four, and loosen it up. Don't tighten too much. And then on the first one here with single, we're going to go in the middle here. Two single, three single, next space, one, two, three, next space, one, two, and three, next space, one, two, and three, next space. One, two, and three. Next space. One, two, and three. And four chain. One, two, three, and four. And try to loosen it up. Don't make it too tight. And we're going to do the three double crochet. Three chain. And three more double crochet inside of the groups where we have the double crochets. Four chain, one, two, three, and four, and proceed the same way again. Oops, so we're going to do three singles inside of the space. Next space, three more singles, and we're going to do this row the same way all the way around. Next space. One, two, three. Next space. One, two, and three. One, two, three, and four. And create our three double crochet with three chain. And again. Three double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we finished here. We close in on third space. We walk to the middle with single. We're going to do two chain equals a double crochet. Two more, so we'll have a total of three. Two chain inside the same space. We're going to do three more. Two chain, and inside the same space, three more double crochet. So we're going to have a total of nine. Double crochet separated by two chain. So three groups, two chain separation. Four chain, one, two, three, and four. We're going to come into our first one. We're 
with single. Five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Don't make it too loose because now we're making the pineapple, um, whatever you want to call them. We're going to skip two space. One, two. On the third space, single. We're supposed to have nine loops per motive. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip two space on the third one. One, two, three, four, and five. Two space on the third one. Third space. One, two, three, four. I think I made a mistake somewhere here. Let's go back again. So we have to have five chain. I think I, I skipped too much. Sorry about that. So one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one next space. Seven. One, two, three. Four, five, skip one, eight, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip one, and we're right here in the last one. We're supposed to have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would make more sense. Again, four chain one, two, three, four. And again into the space and create your three groups of three double crochet with two chain separation. And this is going to be repeatedly all the way around. Two chain separation, three double crochet, two chain separation. And one more group of three double crochet. And again, one, two, three, four. And into our first one. One, two, three, four, five chains. Skip one into the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one into the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one into the next one. So anyway, so you're going to repeat. Make sure you got nine. If you're missing one of the singles, just fit it in somewhere make sure you have nine of these loops because your pineapples have to be the same size all the way around and then inside of the groups we need three groups of three double crochet with two chain separation i'll meet you at the end okay so we're on to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen row fifteen so going into row 15, we're going to walk, I call it the walk, with the slip stitch to the center. 
of the double crochets here. With a single in the middle, go up two chain, that will be a double crochet. We're going to do three, a group of three double crochet, two chain separation, and three more inside of the space here. Three chain into the next space, we're going to do three double crochet. Two chain separation and three more double crochet. And I also wanted to uh, remind you on these loops here or whatever chains you're doing, anytime you're doing chains, if your stitch is too wide, cut down one. Four chain. We're going directly into the first loop of the pineapple and now five chain one two three four and five it's going to be repeatedly the same way all the way around one two three four five into the next loop one two three four five into the next loop one two three four five into the next loop one two three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Good heavens. Don't you love when it all tangles up? One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we always come in with a single on the loops. So now you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's cutting down. We're decreasing for chain. And we're creating the groups of three double crochet again on the little loops here. So we have three double crochet, two chain separation. And three more double crochet. Three chain, one, two, three, into the next loop. And create three double crochet with two chain separation again. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. One, two, three, four, 